Today we're going to take a look at the Fish Pond Cross Currents Chest Pack. This is a pack that I've been using now for about five or six months. I've really got to put it through the test. I'm fishing about five days a week right now. Uh, I've gotten to learn the inside of this thing. So let's go ahead and just take a look at some of the features and then we'll talk a little bit about our thoughts on the pack. So on the outside of this pack, you'll see that there's two mesh pockets in this kind of mesh pocket system, very durable, uh, doesn't get hung up on brush. On this, uh, I don't use this pocket. I'll put garbage and things like that. Usually I'll put like a little uh, baggie in there and I'll put uh, extra tippet and things like that or any trash I find on the river in there. And then on this side, I keep uh, just some little petroleum jelly in there. That's actually what I use to float my cider. Works very well for floating the cider. And I like to have quick access to it, so I keep it on the outside of the pack. Again, on the outside of the pack here, you'll see that there is a Velcro patch system. Uh, I just threw an American flag patch on there that I had laying around. Looking in the outside, uh, pocket of this pack here. You'll see that it's a magnetic closure system, which we really like. And that's kind of like your working space in this pack. So on the inside, you'll see those foam pot or those mesh pockets in there again. And it really helps keep all your gear nice and organized. I keep my tippet in here. Just have a couple of spools of Cortland tippet in there. And then I'll keep some split shot on the other side. And then I keep my New Zealand wool on the back, as well as some foam that I'll wrap my dry droppers onto. And I keep some pinch on indicators and some thingamabobbers in there. Really nice closure system again. Whenever you close that pack, you know that this is not going anywhere. Your stuff is secure and it's not gonna fall into the river. One more thing on the outside of the pack, on either side of this pack, you'll see that there's kind of like a loop system that allows you to attach uh, your zingers on there. Uh, on this side, I just have a golden trout nipper on there uh, with a zinger. And then I keep my forceps on the other side. So I have quick access to both those items. Looking into the main storage of this pack, uh, you'll see that it is a zipper closure system as opposed to this magnetic system on the front. And you'll see that there is also a ton of room in this particular spot. Absolutely tons of storage. And right now I just have two boxes in there, uh, two tacky boxes. Generally I'm carrying four. I like to stay, uh, keep as minimalistic as possible when I'm out on the water. Usually there's four boxes in here. And then there's also in this space, there is another zipper pocket in there. And right now I just have a leader in there. But what you can do, and this is what I do, is I put my keys and my phone in there because I like that it zips shut. So that zips shut and then the outside pocket zips shut. And I know that, you know, if whenever I'm opening this, my keys and my phone aren't gonna go anywhere. So one more feature on the front of this pack before we head to the back. There is a really nice kind of open space right here, uh, which I personally use in the winter time. I put my wool gloves in there whenever I'm handling a fish or trying to tie on a knot, whenever I just need to throw them in somewhere really quick. I like this pocket because it really, again, you don't have to uh, mess with a zipper closure or the magnetic closure. You can just stuff stuff in there, not worry about it falling into the river. On top of this pack, as I, as I mentioned earlier, I use the CNF Design patch box system. They're very popular. Uh, right now it's a complete mess. It kind of works as my working box. Great system, and this pack really allows you to uh, utilize that box comfortably. Uh, what I do is I use the loop closure on either side to attach my CNF Design box. And then as some extra security, I use the pin closure on the back of the CNF design box and it's not going anywhere, still allows, allows me easy access uh, to the interior main storage. So moving to the back of this pack, first you'll see that there's a shoulder strap. On the shoulder strap, another feature that Fish Pond does is they have this buckle system that allows you to use what you could do is put a fish pond backpack 
onto the back of this pack and just completely you know, revamp your storage in the back and not use this back portion. But taking a look at this back portion, you'll see that there's a nice pocket here for a net. I actually don't use this particular pocket, but it's there if you use it. What I do is I use this loop system and I put my gear keeper on there. I've had this thing for, I don't know, probably seven or eight years. Uh, it still zips very quick, holds my net right where I need it whenever I'm landing a fish. Looking at the zipper pockets on the back, there's actually just one main pocket and I keep some, some fly boxes in there. And I also keep my leader storage system, which is, which is a fish pond tippet keeper. Uh, and I keep those on just old spools uh, of tippet. So you'll see there I have this labeled 12 pound maxima, 24 foot uh, with a two, two X cider on there. Uh, and that's just a really nice way that I store my leaders. Again, there's two zippers on the back of the pack and they both offer access to that rear storage. Now that we gave an overview and the technical aspects of this pack, I'd like to kind of give some of my thoughts on it. Things that we uh, think could use some improvement first, this pocket in the front, we really like that magnetic closure system and we wish that uh, Fish Pond would have included that on this particular pocket. Definitely would have been a nice feature to add. It just really allows for greater ease of access whenever you're getting into your pack. And then two, uh, probably my biggest gripe with this pack is that the back storage is really lacking. There's really not that much space on the back. But as we mentioned earlier in the video, Fish Pond does have that nice buckle system that would allow you to put a backpack, a Fish Pond backpack on the back of this, which is definitely something we are going to be doing down the line. We carry a lot of camera gear and it would make things a lot easier if we could throw all that stuff in the back. So the things that we absolutely love about this pack, number one thing is the magnet closure system. And it's surprising that it took a company uh, so long to add that magnetic closure system after the William Joseph Confluence pack, uh, which was just an astoundingly well-designed pack uh, that it utilized that magnetic closure system. Really glad that they included that on the front working station. There's a lot of capacity on this pack as well. Uh, that inside interior space can allow you to really carry a lot of boxes, a lot of different stuff, and carry it comfortably uh, because this pack really holds everything nice and high. And I like that because I don't want things getting wet in the water. That's why I'm not a big fan of the hip pack system. Uh, so it holds weight very well and it rides very high on you. So overall, would we recommend this pack? Absolutely. This is a wonderfully designed pack. Fish Pond really knocked it out of the park on this one. If you're looking to get a chest pack, highly recommend that you start here. So if you have any questions about this particular pack, please leave a comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like these type of videos that we do, these product review videos, also leave a comment. Let us know if there's another item that you would like to see us review. Uh, Doug and I, we spend a lot of time on the water. Again, of late, I've been about out about five days a week. So we can really put an item through the ringer and give a really good, honest opinion about that item. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like and subscribe to our channel so that we can continue to put out content like this in the future. It really helps us out. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next video.